welcome back and in this segment uh, we are happy to talk about uh, the Egyptian Indian cultural relation especially in terms of art and singing and we're happy to host some of uh, India's stories in the various fields so uh, we have with us uh, first of all I'd like uh, to introduce three uh, important singers and actors so I have uh, with me uh, first of all Miss uh, Shibani uh, Kaship and she's an Indian singer. Welcome. Also, I have Mr. Uh, uh, Rajiv Ruda and he's an actor as well as Mr. Vivek Murgal. Uh, welcome with us and they'll tell us more about uh, the Indian artistic movement, whether in the field of singing or acting. Welcome with us. Good Thank morning, you. and I think actor and anchor as well. I, yes. I'm sure you want to add this. You are a colleague. Thank so, you. before I talk about anything, we would like to know more about um, the show you are here in Egypt to participate in. Maybe uh, you can start with us, ladies first. <laughs> okay. Uh, yes, it's a, a real pleasure and a privilege to be here. This is our first trip to Egypt. And uh, yes, we bring with us the Indian culture, which is, uh, which is largely Bollywood, which is so, so popular all over the world. We're here to perform... Uh, uh, my song, music, singing. Vivek is a choreographer, so we have a dance troupe. We have about eight dancers who are backing me, and uh, the entire show is being threaded and anchored by Rajiv Roda. So we are building a story how uh, Bollywood started from the 40s to now, to to the contemporary times, yes. and some of my own popular songs, which are hit songs. So I will be presenting those as well, and uh, so yeah, we'll be really excited to be here. Both our countries have something in common which is ancient civilizations and uh, a rich cultural heritage. So it's wonderful to learn more about Egypt. So we're very excited and very happy. Now, is this your first time in Egypt? Yes, it is. Yeah, it is. Yes. But as you mentioned, how it was and how it is today. So can you tell us how it was and how it is today? Well, uh, Bollywood, I think, uh, in fact, uh, entertainment across the globe has uh, evolved with time. Uh, it, Earlier when uh, entertainment and movies and drama was uh, country based, uh, with time and uh, exchange of cultures across the globe, uh, there is a lot of influence, cross influence which has happened now. So you see it in music, you see in dressing up, so I think the world is becoming a one place kind of a thing. Uh, emotions have been the same, it's just that uh, the levels of emotions, expressions uh, vary from country to country. I think uh, most of the Middle East and Asian countries, they are more expressive in their uh, you know, emotions. But the Western countries are more subtle, they don't emote much, maybe because of the cold temperature or something. <laughs> uh, <laughs> across the globe, otherwise uh, people are warmer. Uh, so I think it's, it's a combination of things. So uh, the evolution of entertainment and cinema. Uh, has been with time, uh, <laughs> communications increasing, so I think it's, it's coming to the same kind of um, entertainment globally because of, I think now, internet being there, so everyone is exposed to the same thing across. Yes, indeed. Now, I'd like to ask, first I'd like to start by uh, Raj uh, Rajiv, um, I'd like to ask you more about uh, your role in the performance that is taking place here in Egypt. So, I am an actor by profession and mm. I anchor shows as well. Live events is what I anchor. Mm. So, I am basically connecting since uh, it is like a narrator of the Bollywood mm -hmm. uh, evolution uh, over the period. Of, this is like a glimpses of uh, uh, Bollywood evolution uh, in music especially. So, and Shibani is a singer and she is presenting, uh, you know, songs and music uh, starting from 40s, 50s to now. And uh, so I am just giving a little bit of trivias and uh, you know how the new actors have come in, how the music has evolved, how the western uh, influence across the music industry has happened. So just a little bit of that I am talking now about. Now what I like the most is the harmony that yeah. we can feel among all the crew. And I think this is something we all believe and we all are interested in when it comes to Bollywood in general. Even for those who are not interested in Bollywood, still they have to admit the harmony that one can feel. So I would like to hear about this more from Vivek, for example, and tell us about your role with them. For the harmony, uh, I would like to just say that if we are just feeling the music actually, okay, then you will love all kind of the music. <laughs> if you are just talking about the, especially about the harmony <laughs> kind of things, okay. Uh, this is completely depend on the feelings, okay, mm -hmm. what kind of 
feelings you are just uh, seeing in the this music actually okay if you can see this all the movies it was according to bollywood actually so you just see ki we are just creating a complete era okay with the music okay the uh, about the shivani actually we are just creating the loss of lots of complete era of the harmony also we are creating uh, we are, she is singing a complete bollywood they are serving for the egypt actually uh, yesterday we have done this very superb show okay we have just served uh, shahrukh khan madle okay and we find the complete lots of opponent oh, for yeah opponent people, people love shahrukh khan and amitabh bachchan yeah. so i think it's an instant connect as well can we listen to something as we can see i cannot take my eye off of this beautiful guitar <laughs> so let's try something okay <laughs> so this is a song with which I began my journey in Bollywood. This is a song called Sajna Abhina. It's a very romantic song. <laughs> What is Sajinar? So Even though I don't understand, but actually I like the song very much. Thank you. <laughs> you know, so that, that they say that music transcends all barriers of language and place. So th that's what it did to you. I'm yeah. so glad. Sajna means the loved one. I'm a Sajna. <laughs> yes. We are married to each other. Yeah. So okay. Yeah. My husband. Congratulations. Thank you. <laughs> so yeah. yes, in fact, when one time when I was performing this song live on stage. He gave me a big surprise and he proposed to me on stage. On stage, <laughs> while I was performing this song. Wow, it, that's romantic for poetry, you know, for shairi. Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah so she inspires that. <laughs> you know, yeah. Sajna means beloved. Oh, that's wonderful. We wish you that you'd always stay in love forever. Thank you. Thank you. So, what other songs can, would you like to play uh, for us? Uh, I think let's do something popular, which. Uh, people in Egypt also might know. But uh, let me ask the producer, can we show a little step so Vivek can you know, make us dance? Yeah. Oh, would you? Is that possible? Would you, would you like to? Would you? All, uh, we have to us. ask the yeah, second yeah, director. Yeah, I'm not yeah, sure yeah, producer yeah, is saying now because we should have prepared yeah, this for the yeah, day. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, so Vivek can we do can it. Do it's very, but it's very difficult. Yeah, right yeah, now, yeah, I don't give her the so chance to enjoy. While she's singing, we can sit and follow her. Yes, yes, we can do that. Yes. While sitting. While sitting, While yes, sitting, yes. Because uh, right. we don't have the room for it. <laughs> you, can, you can follow with me. Just okay. Really beautiful Bollywood step. I guess uh, you love it, I guess. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> 
ערב טוב. I think kids play is doing that. <laughs> kuch kuch is like, you know, in olden times, uh, when they used to show romance in Bollywood, they used to show some birds coming together, some flowers coming together, the symbol of love. So this is like, you know. <laughs> something happening, in, if you want to say something that uh, you are agitated, you what happening, what what to happen. Okay, so well, this is called kuch kuch hota hai. Yes. So actually, uh, I read in your CV that actually you had phases in your art style. So would you tell us about that, uh, the different types of uh, music you sang? Right. So uh, I started my career with uh, singing for radio. Mm -hmm. So in India, uh, radio for the longest time was mono. Mm -hmm. So then it turned into FM. Mm -hmm. And that is a very big, big uh, revolution for India because suddenly, you, you know, you could hear left and right, both the speakers, that's what stereo means. And it was a huge uh, celebration for India. So um, I sang uh, the, the signature tune of that particular radio station which became, uh, so it was called AIRFM. So I'd like to sing a few lines of that because that for me is very, very sentimental. <laughs> almost 20 to 30 times a day in all radios all across India. So wow. for the longest time, I, everybody knew my voice, but nobody knew who was the singer. So I used to sing a lot of jingles for products and uh, for campaigns and other things like that. Uh, but then after some time, I started doing my own albums and my very first album happened called Bhogari and Mohabbat, uh, which became a huge hit. And then I ventured into Bollywood. I, uh, it was quite revolutionary for me. Because I had actually composed a song, which is the song that I just sang, Sajna Abhija. And the filmmaker said that I'd like to use this song in my film. And I'd, I'd like to uh, you know, shoot the song with you, singing the song on, on screen. Because for the longest time, uh, singers were not seen. Or they were called play, I mean, they are still called playback singers. But they were just voices and it was just the heroines and the actors and the actresses who used to be seen lip syncing to the, to the playback voices. So uh, when me and uh, another very famous singer from India, Kailash Khed, we were both uh, shown singing the song on screen, it created quite a revolution because everybody said, okay, this is a singer who sings, they could put a face to the, to the voice. I think there is another stage when you got married as well. <laughs> <laughs> but Jesse, tell us, because you mentioned you are, a, you are an actor as mm -hmm. well, and um, also you are an anchor. Right. Yeah, moving in, into um, acting, and I think acting in India is not easy, like, because it, it's not only drama, it's emotions, it's feelings, it's dancing. We all know and we, are, we all feel the, the Indian movies and how, you know, whenever I feel it's going to end, it starts a new story. <laughs> 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 Am I correct? Right, right. Yes. So tell us more about your experience. 
See, I, as I said, uh, you know, Indians uh, are very emotive people and uh, uh, I think uh, uh, when you talk about literature or poetry or uh, cinema, the biggest connect people have is with the, the, the pathos, the emotions. People love to cry out because in real life they can't really express their hurt to a lot of people. But what happens is when uh, the drama part, the, the, the sadness of uh, an actor uh, is projected onto the movie or a cinema as an actor in a story, people connect to that and that is what uh, brings them closer to the cinema. And then, yes, when you are out of that sadness, a little bit of dance never hurts. Everyone wants to dance and that's another form of expression when you energize your body. It's, it's, I think it's a psychological and a, a expression of a different kind. So, it, it basically uh, I would say that the Indian cinema covers all aspects in one movie. They want to do that because and that's what we call the masala movie. Yeah. So, yeah. we cover all the emotions what throughout the movie. Why you tell us about a film that you acted as a hero? Ah, is she asking? Are you asking? <laughs> <laughs> well, we need to talk more to you, but unfortunately, the time of the segment is up. But I wish you a wonderful stay in Egypt. Thank you so much. Thank I you wish so you wonderful so performance. And I hope you come uh, to visit Egypt again and we host Thank you once you. more. Thank you so much for having us over. Thank you very lovely. much, uh, Mrs. Uh, Shibani Kashif, as well as Mr. Uh, Rajiv Roda and Mr. Uh, Vivek Mudgal. Thank, thank you so very much thank you. Thank for you. coming and thank you for this beautiful singing and performance. Thank you. Thank you. And now we, we will be going for a quick break, but we'll be back, so stay for more coming up on Breakfast Show.